right, everybody, we're hopping into part two, I guess, here of the Worldwide Celebration Dokkan Awakening support campaign. So they were very nice to give us some missions here for the Dokkan events for Goku and Vegeta, uh, or specifically Blue Vegito, right? Um, so that it's a little bit easier to awaken them so you can get um, you don't have to run it as often. One of the biggest issues with these Dokkan events is the amount of times that you actually have to run the stage. Um, so right here we need to... Uh, we'll, we'll look at stage three in a sec. Well, I guess we can do stage three first. That's fine. So stage three, we need three Battle of Fate characters and within five turns. Let's hit attempt. So we need three Battle of Fate characters. So let's go ahead and grab those. Uh, we'll just build it over this team. That's fine. Uh, Battle of Fate is like down here. There we go. Uh, Battle of Fate. And then what was it? We had to do it in like a certain amount of turns. That's fine. Uh, we'll grab like this Gohan, I guess. We'll grab, I don't know, Orange Piccolo. Sure. Uh, Int. Care uh, we don't need one of each typing. I just like bringing one of each typing. Uh, we'll bring like the gods, I guess. Or no, let's, let's bring Piccolo Jr. And then let's bring uh, Ultimate Go. No, let's bring God Goku. And then we can just bring Bulma as well. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the stage. This shouldn't take too long. The stage is pretty old at this point. I would just auto it, but uh, we, we do have a turn restriction, so I want to make sure that we have good rotations, which it looks like we do. Uh, I don't know that I would actually change anything, but just in case I want to, uh, I'm going to manually do this. So uh, not too bad. What, what did it say? We had to do it in four turns, five turns. I don't even remember. It, it's not enough to like worry me. So let's grab these orbs. Uh, let's grab those. Also, sorry, by the way, if this is your first video you're seeing of me, I'm recording this at 4 a.m. Uh, because I want to get these characters awakened, but I, you know, want to get the missions done so that I can awaken them. But I don't want to do them off camera, so it, it, re it requires me to do this at 4 a.m. <laughs> and I am extremely exhausted. Um, we had pretty bad luck on the banners, I guess. Um, it took 44, uh, 4,400 stones to get... Uh, we ended with Zamasu, Rainbowed, and... Ended with Zamasu Rainbow and two dupes of uh, Goku and Vegeta. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, like I said, my brain functions are just like slowly dwindling. And by slowly, I mean extremely rapidly. Um, but, you know, hopefully we're just going to go in here, one-shot these Dokkan events. Uh, the Zamasu Dokkan event was very annoying because it just had like three phases of nothing. <laughs> That was, like, actually the worst design I could have ever come up with. I mean, I didn't come up with it, but, like, Bandai came up with that, and that's got to be the worst thing they've ever come up with was a uh, <laughs> a fight where you are just forced to sit there for three rotations and do nothing. Like, what were they thinking? I've got to go grind it five more times now in order to get the Awakening Medals to awaken Zamasu. I want to get him awakened as fast as possible so I can link level him so that I can get showcases out. Uh, tomorrow sometime, or I guess today, because this is 4 a.m. now. Um, but, you know, I what's the plan? I don't know what the plan is. The plan is the plan. That's, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him awakened tonight somehow before I go to sleep. And then I'm going to link level them while I sleep. And whatever time I wake up, I will just wake up and use keys on them to finish them out. And then I will... Uh, oh, man, I, that means I have, I'd have to awaken my... And, Zamasu too. I don't really care about mine, Zamasu. I can just link a little of them on my own time, but I'd like to get them all done at once, so. Oh, I guess we still got a lot of grinding to do. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know? It's like, uh, that's, that's the price I pay for, uh, uh, choosing to do videos on Dokkan. It's great. I love it. Okay, so there we go. That should get us some missions done. We can go back, collect those, and look at the other set of missions. Any day. Any day you want to load, buddy. Also, I just realized that we have sound off. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, part of that is also Dokkan's bad because uh, they're playing uh, dynami Dynamite. Dy dynamic? Cho Chozetsu Dynamite? I don't know, dude. I, okay, so three Realm of Gods characters. One of each typing. Uh, without support items within five turns. Okay. 
Uh, so Realm of Gods, that should be pretty easy. Uh, Realm of Gods. Okay, let's grab our Int Leader. Need an AGL unit. Uh, I guess just you, that's fine. Let's grab you for tech. Um, int. Get God Goku. Or I guess we already have an Int. STR and physical. We'll grab physical God Goku. Pretty easy. This should be able to get the missions done. If not, I don't know. We'll go back to the drawing board or something. I could have just run like Power Beyond Super Saiyan or something, but uh, we should be fine here. We have the friend Goku and Vegeta. That should help us out. We should be able to do enough damage to get these guys taken out. Uh, let's do that. We need to do the three. I try to grab the key whenever I can because it's just a lot easier. Like, if you're, you know, like, why why would you try to neuter yourself, you know? It's like it's available on the board. Just grab it. Um, let's do this. Hopefully UI Goku can just take this guy out. Uh, but I think either way we'll do enough damage to take him out on this rotation. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Goku and Vegeta and Zamasu. Uh, let me know if you think they're like, you know, uh, like who's number one, if either of them are number one, or is maybe like uh, an existing unit still number one. I don't think either of them for, you know, some people think Bulma's number one, and I think Bulma's number two at least. Um, you know, one at the highest, two at the lowest. And I don't think that uh, either of these units really dethrone Bulma. So I guess that means that I think they're number three, which would then mean, do I think they're better than, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Orange Piccolo. Do I think they're better than Orange Piccolo? And that's one of those things I'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll get some usage out of them. I, I did some calcs, but ultimately it's going to come down to, uh, you know, how, how do they work whenever I use them? You know, are they just a better version of the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from last year? Or are they actually good? You know, it's like, we, we will find out. I know, I'll tell you one thing for free. Their animations are insane. Their animations look so good. I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, I will tell you right now, I'm hungry. I'm tired. And I just want to go to bed. But, uh, um, how should you build them? I, I mentioned this in the Zamasu video. I'm just repeating myself in both videos at this point. But, um, how should you build them? I think you should go, uh, full dodge on both. And if you are adamantly against dodge, then I think you go additional on Zamasu and you go crit on Goku and Vegeta. Um, because, like, additionals aren't really going to help them too much. You're just going to stack attack. Um, crits are going to help them do more damage. They already have a bunch of built-in additionals, but I really do think dodge is the way to go for both of them. Zamasu, it could hurt you a little bit because Zamasu needs to get hit to get his main multiplicative buff, but, uh, like, you know, if you go 30 dodge on a character or, like, 20 dodge, that doesn't mean they're going to bob and weave and miss every single, uh, like, buff, right? It just means that uh, like occasionally, or like it, like it, they'll still get hit is what I'm getting at. Sorry. Again, my brain is just like, I don't know. I'm really tired. I need to just go to bed, but you know, we got to get showcases out. I'm going to put these out. I don't know if I'm going to make thumbnails tonight, but I'm going to at least get these recorded and then I may put them out tomorrow sometime. I don't know. We'll see. I'll upload them for sure. We'll do something. I don't know. You guys will watch these. You'll be like, bro, this dude, <laughs> Brother, what are you doing? There, there's going to be like 10 people who watch this video who are not subscribed and have never seen any of my content before. And they're going to be like, who's this like sad, degenerate, like sleep deprived guy? It's like, well, hello, my name's Jordan. How are you? <laughs> there we go. That's all the medals. Uh, so what that should do is allow us to awaken the first stage of Vegito. And then it'll give us a little bit of a jump start towards the next stage. But... We still got a lot of grinding to do if we want to get these guys awakened tonight, as well as Mai and uh, Zamasu, Mr. Tea Party. T uh, officially, I'm going to be calling that guy Tea Party Zamasu. So there we go. We got the medals. We can go ahead. Not the hidden potential system. Well, I guess that's fine. They're already here. Awaken. There we go. Now they're in their TUR state. And we can train them up. 
There we go, and there we go. I already had a bunch of these pre-farmed, so now we just have to do this event five more times. So, there we go. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I don't know. I'm going to get these guys awakened. We'll have showcases at some point tomorrow. I'll probably be a little bit later than other people, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time.